welcome back to the channel. So I thought I might talk to you guys about some software. Uh, a couple different types of software that I like to use is Performance Benchmark and MSI Afterburner, CPU-Z and GPU-Z. Well, GPU-Z is made by, I found that it's made by like two separate companies, but I think they're separate softwares, but, and maybe one of them is just trying to steal the other one name, because I noticed they put like Cupid or a different name either in front or behind of the word GPU-Z but the original is Tech Power Up GPU-Z and you need to get this one it shows everything on it the GPU clock, the memory, the boost I mean and then on top of that it will show you the default clock, the default memory and the default boost so it shows you where your card when you first get your card out of the box it shows you what it's at the settings that it's at and then it can go and then it shows you above that the GPU clock um, above the default it'll show you what I have it at so it's a good comparison to see at you know your baseline versus what you have it at now um, and then on top of that I mean it, it just it's full of information it tells me the release date of the graphics card the technology uh, if I'm up to date, just everything about it, I, I, I really like it. Um, it's DDR5, it's 256 bit, I mean it just comes with everything and then you can, even down here at the bottom it has all this stuff um, where you can select whether or not if you want to, you know, know that information. Make sure that you have the correct graphics card at the bottom there. If you go to advanced. Advance is my favorite part. Check this out. Advance is really cool because it tells me my power limit. My current power limit is 102%. That's what I have it set at because I am overclocking the graphics card. And I'll pull up my second favorite piece of hardware, which will be MSI Afterburner. I'll talk about that here in a shortly. But it shows me my minimum. Okay, now the minimum that's what your computer will desire for that's what your computer is going to shoot for it's going to try to hit whatever your minimum percentage is and that's your power limit uh, my current power limit is well double that and then some it's at 102 percent but the maximum that my graphics card will go to is 126 percent and then at the bottom it shows me the adjust rate see negative 50 percent plus 27 percent so it gives you an idea of fine tuning all right which is awesome and then on top of that it has the temperature limit so that's that's very important to know these kinds of things how hard can i push the card and how hot can i get the card those are the two things because once you start getting the card too hot um, your performance will drop like a boulder um, just straight to the ground boom, boom, right in the pond this one's pretty cool if you scroll down a little bit further it tells you your monitor type so I'm running basic I don't know what 1080 HDMI by what is it 920 by 1080 um, and if you were running anything else it would tell you it would tell you that and then it would tell you what your speed is but I guess HDMI doesn't have exactly a speed but this is um, advanced and then you have sensors sensors is awesome check this out it shows a little graph off to the right of it and I think that is very important if you go about halfway down through the middle of the list you can see where it says power consumption it shows the current power consumption of the whole graphics card so currently I'm only doing what 17.4 watts that's it 17 watts uh, and then you have another power consumption at the bottom which is the total TDP of it and right now we're only using about 7% of the total displacement of power which is pretty cool if you scroll a little further down memory usage I'm at 3300 3, megabytes shows me my CPU temperature 30 Celsius that's about 80 degrees because I just know that 
it's think of it like a meter when it comes to Celsius it's basically three times whatever you're looking at so if it's you know 30 degrees if it's 30 Celsius then you're probably right in the um, high 80s to 90s because if you did three times three you would get nine so that's just kind of a it's not an accurate but it just kind of gets you into the ballpark if you really don't know Celsius versus Fahrenheit too well um, but they do make calculators for that conversioners um, you have video engine load right now we're only doing about eight percent the GPU load four percent memory usage showed you how me at fan speed RPM zero I don't know why that's like that maybe because it isn't spinning duh um, mini memory clock megahertz GPU clock megahertz uh, I mean I love this you can also take a screenshot of it if you want take a screenshot you can refresh it uh, let's see here did I go to advance went to validation validation is just something where you can put your name option comments and then just kind of let them know how you want to do it or if what you think of it or whatever the uh, this tech power up GPU Z it actually comes in two versions it came in a rogue Strix version and it came in like a standard version I went with the rogue Strix because I'm running a rogue Strix graphics card so duh all right guys I'm gonna get out of here I just kind of wanted to tell y'all about that let's check out the next piece of software that I like to use MSI afterburner So this is MSI Afterburner, and if you didn't know, you can use MSI Afterburner on NVIDIA and AMD cards. Uh, I mean, it's a well universal um, piece of software, I would have to say, definitely, and I use it all the time. I'm constantly tweaking this thing, constantly. I mean, it has my power limit, my power limit, and in percentage and then it had the core clock in megahertz of course and then the memory clock in megahertz and you can adjust that you can increase it by see 500 percent and then you would just hit the apply button and while you're doing that it will move these gauges on the left side see how this thing's in a circle over here there's numbers at the top the gauges move see how they move whenever I move this so I keep it, I don't want it too much overclocked because I'm really not required to run it that fast. So I run it about right there. Memory clock, you can set that, different percentages, and your fan speed. Um, down here at the bottom is a nice little graph that tells you your power limits and your temperature limits and your fan speeds and your memory clock and all that good stuff. Um, both of these apps or pieces of software both of these softwares that I just showed you guys are completely free you can just google them and then download them now why do you need these two pieces of software well because you need to know what your machine is doing and if you can tweak the machine to to better perform it let's say your game is always crashing or your your frames are stuttering you know you, you gotta wonder why that is so you can use these softwares to kind of figure this stuff out if you go over here you have fan see it shows me a different curve um, monitoring I can choose what I want to monitor monitor I can even put it um, sh I can even show it like on the screen like if I want it to play a game and I want it to uh, show me what my frame rates and my temperature and all that kind of stuff is you can do that in monitor this is different profiles and then general speed this is just enables hardware control monitoring this just kind of lets you fine-tune what it will do for you um, and what it will read and measure and that kind of thing so yeah that's this is just a quick thing of MSI afterburner I mean I really don't have to talk too much about it because it's pretty much self-explanatory and then when you click on something a little option box pops up and it physically tells you what this setting is and what it does and that is a lovely feature all right guys i'm getting out of here thank you so much for watching i appreciate you guys um yeah the channel uh, i don't know 
I don't know what's going on with it. Um, I, I sent an email out to uh, YouTube about it, and I'm waiting to hear back from them. There's no telling how long it will take for YouTube to actually get back to me. But when they do, I'll let you guys know what they said. Um, I had one person say that maybe it had to do with bot views or bot subscribers, but my question is, is how do you get bot views? How do you get bot subscribers? Do, does somebody go out and buy that for you and give them, and I'm like, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, I know this much though, since day one that I've had this account, it has been weird. The numbers don't read right. The subscribers don't read right. It's just, I know since I start, I, when I first started this account, I was like, you know what? I shouldn't, um, I shouldn't keep going because this, this account, this particular account seems to be kind of screwed up. But then I thought that maybe it would kind of work itself out with some updates and da 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 and some other things. And then it just kept going and then I started to get subscribers and subscribers and comments and everything. And, you know, it just started to kind of snowball. Uh, but you know what? If I'm losing subscribers like that, fine. I don't fucking want you anyway. Because apparently you didn't like my shit to begin with. I mean, you may have liked some of it or whatever reason it made you to subscribe, which I appreciate. But you're not a true fan. And you truly don't like my channel if you don't hang out and hang around. Does that make sense to y'all? Yeah. Sure it does to me. But I do appreciate the ones that do watch my videos and do subscribe. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. And hopefully we can get more of you.